Teddy doesn't know he's a dog. He thinks he's human. Really? I'm Andrea, and this is Teddy's story for GeoBeats. I kissed another dog. I had lost my last dog about six months before I adopted Teddy. <laughs> oh, yo. He ended up at the shelter because he was just dumped there. He definitely was in someone's home, I think. He was well-trained. He was taken care of. I brought his bed into my room thinking he would sleep, like, on the dog bed. And he looked at the dog bed and looked at me and jumped right in my bed. Oh! I don't know what happened in his past life. There's a lot of weird, quirky things. Catch! He doesn't play like a dog. Ready? He didn't really know how to play with toys. You want this ball? He won't play with a ball. Like, what dog doesn't like a ball? He likes his stuffed animals. Did you just squeak Santa? We call him his babies. His ears were already cropped when he was found. The people at the shelter and that just assumed he was an American Staffordshire Terrier, pit bull type dog. Hi, Teddy, are you looking cool? Well, I had him DNA tested, and he's actually 100% American bully. All <laughs> right. Oh. He's a mama's boy. You're working hard. Are you hungry? He'll sit up on the couch with me and watch TV. He's a good boy. He will not get out of bed in the morning without a belly rub. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> Refuses to get out of bed in the morning without a belly rub. I can get up, get completely ready, and be at the front door with the door open, and he will not get out of bed until I come back and give him a belly rub. And not just like a short one, like a proper belly rub. Me? He's a little solid meatball. Any precipitation, he doesn't care for. He doesn't like the snow in general. He will go out and sniff around and play once it's stopped snowing. Time for Teddy. He's not interested in the rain. He gives you those innocent eyes. Oh, poor me. I don't want to go out in the rain. He's definitely very expressive, for sure. Teddy, what do you want to do today? You know what he's thinking and how he's feeling. <laughs> when my dad does come over, he's so excited. He loves all humans, but I'm definitely his mom and he's my baby. I'm working so hard. He's just like kind of an anxious dog, but I try to show him like things are not scary, but I don't think I'll be able to convince him that thunder's not scary. Okay, buddy. You're all right. You're all okay. I put pajamas on him because the material helps make them feel cozy. And then he comes and sits in my lap and I just pet him until it's over. He wants to say hi to every human he sees. Some people will deliberately cross the road when we're walking by. It happens. I try not to take it personally. He's so cute. Look at me so cute. I just love him. Teddy, I love you so much.